So the first thing you're going to want to do is type in move transition plugin. Uh, this plugin is by Exceldro. Type that in once you have that typed in. It should be the first link. And it's on the official OBS website as opposed to GitHub where a bunch of things are. Go to the download button on the right side. And I would personally recommend choosing the, um, the zip file uh, option as opposed to downloading the installer. I just find that's a lot easier. Um, and then download it um, to wherever your um, OBS file is. Downloading zip files is especially helpful if you ever run multiple instances of OBS. Um, so once you find your OBS um, folder, just save the zip file there. Open that up to where it was uh, downloaded and then right click and click extract here. I already have this, so I'm not going to extract that, but it, it's pretty much instantaneous um, with this specific plugin. Um, so I'm just gonna delete the zip file, but you should um, extract here. Uh, assuming you're in the right folder, of course. Um, the folder that you're in should look like this. And then you can right click and extract here. Um, after that, you should have OBS closed while you're doing all of this. Um, but after you've downloaded the plugin, just open OBS. And for the source that you're trying to change, it's going to be a filter. So just right click your audio source, click filters. And I already made a couple here, but I'll just show again um, exactly what it is you need to do. So right click, add, and choose the move value option. If you don't see this option, that means you downloaded the plugin incorrectly. Um, so you'll just have to double check and make sure you that, that you did that right. So we're gonna click move value, and then we're gonna name this one. So we're gonna have two of these filters, one for volume up and one for volume down. So I'm gonna name this one volume slider up. Uh, keep the filter at none. We'll change the move value type to add. And we're gonna change the setting setting to source volume. And for now, we'll just make it 5%, just, uh, just so you see how it operates. For the custom duration, just crank that down as low as it'll go. For the easing, choose no easing. Check off filter only enabled when moving. Keep these four options to none. And on the next move on option, we're gonna change that to hotkey. And then we're going to turn on the eyeball icon here. And then the next thing we're gonna do is duplicate this so that we have a volume down option. So I'm just gonna name this something a little bit different so that it's just sort of slightly visually distinguishable. Um, so that it's easier to know um, which control is doing what at a glance. So volume slider up, volume slider down. The only thing we're going to change for volume slider down, we're just going to put a hyphen on the settings, uh, on the setting settings value right here before that five, just a hyphen. That's it. Then we're going to close that, go into settings, hotkeys. I'm going to go find our audio source. So here are the filters we just made. And there's a list that I've made that you guys should really be following um, for pretty much any hotkeys you're trying to use for OBS. Um, because these controls um, have the least interference with OBS and any games that you're streaming. Um, I'm going to just do for this tutorial what I've been doing, which is Alt F6 and Alt F7. So I'm gonna do that over here. Alt F6 for volume slider up. And Alt F7, for volume slider down, apply, okay. And if I press Alt F7, the volume should go down, which it does. And Alt F6 will bring it back up. So I'm not holding it, I'm just uh, 
tapping the button. This is me holding it, which does nothing. Um, but I'll get to that. Um, we're going to make that, uh, if you want to just hold your hotkeys down um, and be able to change it like that. Um, and have it have more of like a smooth, gradual um, change. Then, uh, then this is the video for you. The next thing you'll want, and um, this is all. This also is tied in with um, hardware controls as well. If you want to do this with hardware, and you don't have the money to buy a Go XLR, which I don't, and uh, or nor do I have the the inkling to do so. I think that's the word. Um, because I use. <laughs> A GameCube controller for my stream deck and I use it to do a lot of things but today's video is just focusing on this volume slider stuff so if you want to have a more smooth gradual sort of thing the next thing you'll want to do is download joy to key so search that up should be the first link as well should be Let's see about ads click download and then download it straight from Joy to Keys website and install that wherever you would like. Open that up and um, I'll just delete this. Make a new profile on the left side by right clicking, click new. And we'll just name this OBS volume sliders just for today's video. On Joy to Key, when you have a controller plugged into the computer, you should see some stuff being highlighted um, whenever you press a button. If you don't see anything being highlighted, there's a chance that your controller might be incompatible with joy to key um, or there's some kind of driver error, or you may need to turn down your brightness or contrast on your monitor because the, the yellow that they use uh, for highlights on joystick one are very bright and light colored and I know I've struggled to um, see those colors when doing this stuff on other monitors before so I'm going to identify the controls physically that I want to use and that's for my internet browser I believe. yeah it was for my internet browser so I want to use the gray joystick here and I want to use the up and down so I can see it's stick up and stick down. Stick stick one up and stick one down on joystick one. So we're just going to repeat the same controls in here. So we're going to right click the button that we've chosen. Click edit this assignment. And you have to click the first two boxes on this side, but the last two you don't have to for some reason. So Alt F6. And then you're going to want to turn on auto repeat. Because you saw earlier, I was holding the buttons down, but nothing was happening. So auto repeat is going to help us gradually move the slider up and down. Um, you can use either one of these boxes here, but you can only use one of these boxes. I am going to make it repeat once every and you can use uh, milliseconds as well if you do decimals so I want it to repeat once every point zero seven seconds and then we can also add comments down here um, so we don't lose track of things so I'll say it's my browser game audio up enter enter and I'll basically do the same thing here. So the first button is usually automatically selected. So I'll press Alt, click the second one, F7, turn on auto repeat, and then use the same value here that you did uh, earlier. And then I'll add a comment. Br whoa. Br Browser and game vol down. Enter, enter. And then you should see 
know how I should orient this. When I move my C stick, not my C stick, my joystick up and down, you should see the volume slider in OBS go up and down. There we go. Looks like it gets a little stuck there, doesn't it? So the reason it looks like it's getting stuck so much is because the values that we've given both in OBS and in Joytiki, they make the transitions happen a lot faster than you think. So if we go back into our filters, this value here and the value in Joytiki here, think of it as these are two layers of speed, essentially. So what we want to do is make the one in OBS a smaller number so that OBS isn't struggling to keep up with our um, process requests so much. So we're going to make that 0 0.4. We'll make this negative 0 0.4 and see if that looks any better. There it goes. See? That's all you had to do to make it not to get stuck so much. So it looks like the faster you try to go with your volume, the more sort of stuck it'll get. You can also change the speed in joy to key. And you can do that by doing, let's say zero, instead of 0 0.07, we'll do 0 0.7 seconds. So 0.07. Point seven. Enter, enter, or not. Click OK. That's gonna go nice and slow. Oh yeah, beautiful. Super slow. Just how you wanted it. <laughs> so I'll change that again. We'll go to uh, zero point one five. How about that? 0 0.15 click okay let's see how that changed that's okay still looks like it gets stuck a little bit i'm going to drop that down once again 0 0.07 was actually pretty good but i'll change the filters in obs so let's do 0.40 we'll change we'll boost that up to 0.80 and then negative 0.80. Close. And how does that look? That's pretty good. I like that. Not getting stuck nearly as much. Really at all. It's nice and fast. It's not too fast. Looks good to me. And... Um, yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions, I'll uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, bye.